we think about taking the right decision, we don't take the right decision. You are to fear. I'm telling you so that you can know the plans of the devil upon your life. Don't fear him. It's a fear of the unknown. What about if I die? What about if he dies? What about if I do not make it? What about if my children don't make it? What about if my children don't pass at school? What about if I am dismissed? You fear the unknown. A lot of people are so stressful today. They have stress. I am saying to you today, fear now. Conquer the enemy by removing fear first. When you want to prophesy in your life, take out fear and say the word that I'm going to release, God is releasing the word. Let me tell you something. When you prophesy, it's not you. God come in your stead. God come in your position. And whatever you say, he says it. That's what Apostle Paul says. When I speak, it's no longer I. Thank you, Jesus. Remember what happened when Goliath was insulting the children of Israel until it pains the young man David. He used fear because he stood there and said, all these soldiers, the regiments of the Philistines are not going to fight your soldiers but me only. Bring one guy who is like me. Let's fight. Because he knew that he was tall. He knew that he was stronger than every man in Israel. Saul feared Goliath. Saul trembled he trembled when he, he thought about Goliath because he was the only man who was supposed to go and face because he was the king. He could not go there. And none of his sons could go there. All oh, his soldiers. Goliath. At the distance, he looked like a strong man. But when David took closer, Look, he saw a gap in a big man in Goliath. And he said, I can kill this man. And I will kill him with a small thing. I'm not going to touch him, but I'm going to take, use a stone. Because in the forehead of Goliath, there is a gap. And I'm going to use that gap. So, that's what the devil does. He gives you fear in your life. You fear. You fear. You say, no, I can't do anything. No, do not fear. There is a gap. Look closer. Look at the forehead. You will see the gap. I said, look closer. You will see the gap. Stand up and say, come with everything you have. I come to you with the word. The Bible says, Ezekiel, prophesy. Use the word. Use the word. Prophesy about the word of God. Stand up and prophesy. And say, you come from wherever. You have killed so many people. You are not going to kill my family. You are not going to kill my children. You are not going to kill me. I prophesy. Come breath from the four winds. Breath into this lane. They may leave, so I prophesy as he commanded me. And the breaths entered them. They came to life, stood up on their feet. A vast army. You know, what you have is a vast army. It's not dry bones. You have a vast army, not dry bones. Ezekiel entered the valley thinking he's on top of dry bones, but he was on top of the vast army of God. God will turn your situation around today. Situation.
situation which no one believes it will be turned around, God will turn it around for your, for your own good, somebody. He turned around the dry valley of bones into vast army of God. He says, I will make sure that my word is performed. Yes, Lord. The army of God comes out. Let me tell you today, do not be handcuffed by bad habits. When you already hold the key to unlock greatness inside you, Greatness is already inside of you. Your words possess greatness. Stand up and prophesy greatness about your life. Stand up and prophesy greatness upon the life of those who are close to you. And see whether that word cannot be performed. The word shall be performed, somebody. Remember Paul and Silas were chained both hands and feet, but they refused to accept that greatness of God inside them was chained. Even when they were chained, feet and their hands, they stood up and praised and worshiped God until things started to happen. I said to you today, even if the situation is gloomy and gloomy, prophesy. Use your mouth, somebody. Forget about people. Forget about going to advices. Forget about going to Sangomas. Face God Almighty today. Prophesy. Use your own mouth. Use your own mouth. You are no longer in a dry valley. You are walking in a king's highway. God shall change your dry valley into the king's highway. God shall change your place, your dry place, where there is no water, where there is no food, into the king's palace. You shall dine with the king, somebody. Stand up, prophesy.